What's up, YouTube? This is my Zoom. Oops, Zoom H1. Uh, it's actually a four years old, and initially it had a broken SD card. I can enter my SD card into the SD card slot or the micro SD card slot, as you can see here. I couldn't uh, fit it right through because there's something stuck in there. The spring it was stuck, so I tried to remove it or pry it, pry it open, and unfortunately, I removed the case, uh, the top case of the SD card. And after I removed that, all hell broke loose, really, because I couldn't just read the SD card anymore. Even though it's really, it had a proper contact with the pins, it uh, it can read. It'll, it'll just say no card. So I thought it was a connection problem or a, a contact problem. So I cleaned the contacts. I I soldered them in just like this one, and it turned out I just broke the whole thing because there's a PCB trace right there. I just kind of ripped it off and I couldn't find it anymore because I just scratched all over the place and just ah, uh, it just I just destroyed this uh, motherboard. But I could still use this and as a, a PC microphone, but I couldn't record from the microphone itself, so it defeats the purpose of this uh, product. Uh, overall, this product is really great. I've used it a lot in my videos, in a lot of my uh, my infomercials, and a lot of my works. Uh, but the problem is, uh, it's it's build quality is just really poor. I mean, I, I'm it's although it's really uh, robust, but the plastic enclosure it's it's way brittle. After four years of use and, and under direct sunlight, under the heat, the grime and dirt, and under a lot of work, it will just break down. Slow, slowly it will just disintegrate. Um, okay. So, um, any suggestion about the? Zoom H1. Okay, the design of the Zoom H1. Uh, you know what I said about uh, all hell broke loose when I removed this. This top cover acts as the connector of the ground of two different ground planes of the PCB. Uh, imagine the PCB is half, left and uh, left and right. The left side is connected to the right side ground or connection using this, and that's a poor design because once I remove this, the circuit won't work or the SD card module won't work. And that is uh, just a bummer. Next is the LCD. They saved manufacturing costs by just placing the wires on a graphite uh, plastic-like uh, material, not a connector. So it's unreliable. I need to press this down in a case in order to display a text. Otherwise, it won't uh, display all the text that I need to. And uh, what else? Actually, they just cheap out the connectors and the microphone as well as the the switches here in the PCB it's a breakout board it just didn't use connectors that's why I'm having a hard time maintaining this and just dismantling this and I also broke the switch right here I just broke this up it's my fault so I just attached a wire to connect the switch or to turn it on and that's it otherwise the the pros of this is just amazing it has uh, Everything it can record uh, PCM, WAV, MP3, uh, various bit rates, var various uh, uh, what they call this sample rates. It's really amazing. The price for the performance of this device is just uh, it's, the, it's bang on the buck. It's like way on. You're getting a lot of functions for your money. But the problem is, since I broke this one. Uh, I'm not gonna need it. I'm not gonna use it as a recorder. So I'm looking for an alternative So if you can suggest a cheaper option or a better option than this with a bang for the buck uh, Please comment down below subscribe like and share this video and yeah uh, and by the way um, from the things that I did before and now uh, it's pretty different so what I need is I think someone like a wireless transceiver or receipt or a transmitting kind of a recording device I don't know if there's something like that uh, I need it because sometimes in the event I cannot uh, just place this and record and just sync it up in my in post-production it will take a lot of time so I just want to record at the same time sync it up with my camera and that's what I really want that's what I do nowadays before I just kind of uh, synchronized each video and it's really uh, it's a hassle editing so that's what I do before but now uh, well the H1 just died as a recorder but I can still use this as a uh, uh, PC microphone or dubbing so it's still useful but I can use this as a recording device so I'm still looking for an alternatives and sometimes maybe hmm, I don't know I'll just quit out of this so uh, thank you guys